Today I have for you my very own pottery wheel. That's what it's called. And it says it's so easy to make pottery. Now, as a partially experienced potter, you know, I've been at it for a couple of years, I would like to unbox this and show you what's inside and tell you if I think that it's worth spending the $20 at Walmart or $50 online for this item. Here it shows a pottery piece made by a kid and some strange looking paints. Uh, has this cone thing. This appears to be a, an electronic foot pedal for turning it off and on and probably adjusting the speed. So it's uh, just a wire holding it together and it's got a long cord. Some sort of a... We'll see what all these pieces are for. I imagine it's for shaping your pottery piece helping get it centered, which is essential. Let's see what else is in here. Okay. Ooh, snug fit in the box. And um, there's the documents. Get rid of the cardboard. We have a sponge and some more tools, a little paintbrush and some paint. It comes with a block of clay, which is, I believe is air dry clay. It says, Includes everything you need. One motorized pottery wheel, one adjustable tool arm, one foot pedal, two bags of clay, net weight of one pound or 453 grams each, three pottery making tools, two clay tools, one paintbrush, one sponge, one ceramic paint strip, one cutting cord, and easy to follow instructions. Great, let's just see. So, let's remove these items from the bag. We have this tool arm thing. No idea what this is for at this point. Um, here is a fishing line, but it has no pieces on the end. So I guess you're supposed to wrap this around your fingers to pull it through to cut the pottery piece off the wheel. It's kind of chintzy. They, could make that a better tool. Um, this tool has little teeth on the edge here, and this edge should be smooth, but it's it's really needs to be filed down to make it into a nice point. It's, it's kind of rough. That won't make a smooth cut on anything. Of course, these weren't the parts that I cared about on the wheel. And this some sort of paint substance. The clay is air dry, so it doesn't even go in the oven. As far as I can tell, you just let it dry and then you paint it. So here's the other brick of clay that comes with it. And here we have the pottery wheel. Very lightweight. Looks like you, you can take your little paints apart, or not, and stick them right into these holes. Kind of neat. You just pop them in there, and then you can open them up and see your little paints. Okay. Let's put some batteries in this. Just a minute. I need to go get a Phillips head screwdriver to open up the battery door and install my batteries. When you buy this, you'll need to pick up 4D batteries, but I recommend getting yourself a rechargeable set because it'll save a fortune in batteries if you use rechargeables. And you'll also need a gadget to re recharge them in. I have some here. Um, these batteries I got at Costco, and they hold a AA inside, but it takes up the space of a uh, D battery. So I'm going to test mine and some batteries I had in the house, and I have these for backup if I need them later for my class. So 
It's a little place for the plug. We're going to turn it to off. Now push this in and now set it to pedal. There's a, it says on, off, and pedal. It's back on the tabletop. Put my pedal on the floor and just see how this pedal works. Let's give it a little press with my foot. Okay, so the first thing I've noticed is that the wheel is not left. Wait, I'm gonna try and correct the wheel, the situation with the wheel not being level. Okay, that's gonna make a wobbly pot because the wheel has to spin. The, wind, the wheel has to spin in a level manner in order to get a decent pot from it. That is by no means level. So, that is super far off being level. I'm going to press it this way and see if I can correct it. It's the, it just moves. Okay, well, there. Okay, so it's centered in this direction. So now let's turn it this way, about 90 degrees. So just the fact that I can push on it and it and it goes out in or out of level, uh, I'm going to say that, you know, it's a toy. It's obviously not a, uh, a pottery wheel made for a professional potter. But I would like to see it be sturdier than that as far as, as, far as the, the balance. I'm not sure my table itself, my table's pretty close to level, actually. Let's see. My ta yeah, my table's pretty close to level, so I'm going to say it's not the fault of the table. It's the cheapness of the wheel. Okay. I need a pair of scissors. The clay from the package is a little bit on the dry side, a little bit crumbly. So I'm going to uh, just kind of give it a little water and squish it together. I'm not sure anything about this. I don't know anything about this strange clay that comes with it. So it says to start with a quarter of the amount of clay that's in one of these packages. You need to make sure the clay is a uniform texture before you start using it, which is called which is called wedging. Fold and stretch the clay several times. Okay. So it tells me to wedge the clay. Now this clay is not going to wedge well because it's obviously very crumbly. You will need to add some water if your clay looks like this. Yeah, you want to get rid of any lumps or air pockets in the clay. It's a very hard, very bouncy clay. I put canvas here on the table, therefore uh, the clay won't stick to it. Canvas is really just amazing for clay. Okay, wet your hands and your bowl of clay. It says roll it into a sphere. Okay, let's get a sphere going here. If you don't know that word, kids, it's just a ball. It's just a really nice. Place the ball shaped in the center. See, it has markings on the center push the ball onto the center of this wheel. Okay, we gotta wet it. I believe the reason why they probably um, didn't make this plug in the wall is that kids don't electrocute themselves with wet hands unplugging it. Smart idea, but it'd be lovely if it had a, recharge, a recharging option, a separate device that comes with it that recharges D batteries because I imagine you'll just really run through D batteries quickly if you use this object. With your thumbs, make a small indention in the center of the clay. Shape the clay. Okay, so they're basically giving instructions on how to, on how to throw pottery here.
century. Yes, and say that this is a centering device. I think the better way to use this as a centering device would be to just pull it straight towards yourself. You gotta wet that thing a little bit. You gotta make sure everything's wet that touches the clay or it'll just rip off the wheel. See, like that, it'll just rip off the wheel. But I almost had it centered, so. Give that an opportunity to uh, get on there. I'm holding this down with this hand, and I'm trying to center it. No luck. No luck getting it centered. Okay. Centering's really difficult, so I think that's why they give collaring extra devices for kids. Sometimes it's even difficult for experienced people to center. Let's see if this is what this collar is for. Okay. Wet the clay and put the coat and put the comb down. So I just like to use the outside edge of this to as you can see um, I've gotten the walls pretty straight but now the top is off so I'm going to try and I'm anchoring my hands together to try and balance that wall down Now I have to recenter. I'm gonna have to anchor this. It's very lightweight. So a real pottery wheel might run six hundred dollars, where this is twenty dollars. So this is as doing as well as I expected. Okay, so I'm making a hole in the center. The spin direction, it is spinning. If I turn this, will it spin the other direction for me? That's an interesting question because I don't think... Okay, no matter what I do, it's spinning to the left and I'm righty. So I don't spin in this direction normally. So I'm going to have to put the sponge in my left hand and do this in a way that I'm not familiar with. There's no way to make the wheel turn in my preferred direction. So I have to do this strangely. Okay, I'm gonna stand up. And... Whew. That is that is difficult. That is difficult to do uh, backwards in this direction because. I'm ready.
Okay, and now see, I've gotten it off center again. the pottery wheels that you buy for adults turn counterclockwise. Pretty sure. But here's what happens when you're not level and your piece isn't properly centered. One wall that's much taller than the other wall. Okay, I'm going to attempt to collar it a little here. Um, see, now it's gone crazy. Crazy shape. Okay. So what we're gonna see now this it's all off here. The wheel is all I I feel like they could have made this better just but with a few simple this should not wobble. Okay. Now, one way to repair something that gets crazy like this. I just shot clay onto my face, is uh, to take the cutting string and I'm holding it, I wrapped it around my index fingers and I'm holding it very tight and I'm gonna cut the top part off. I'm just gonna slide it through the clay. You can turn the wheel on just a little bit and help you get through it. There, and I'm just gonna rip this top piece off. And here's a small pot. And now I'm gonna clean up the edge. Attempt to clean up the edge. So it is fun. I mean, it's amusing, but I mean, your kid's not going to be able to. Uh, the, the clay, I've, I've managed to crack a hole right through the clay, I believe, because the clay was too dry. Uh, I think it might be this clay, so I'm going to switch. I'm going to use real ceramic clay that can be fired. This clay cannot be fired in a kiln. So I'm going to set this aside, probably just give it away. Some kid who wants to play with air dry clay at home. And um, test this with some of my good throwing clay. Uh, a cone six. And I will, uh, if I can get anything decent to come off this thing, I will... Uh, fire at the kiln. <laughs> so I need to wash this really well and clean off the machine and make sure there's not a trace of this clay uh, in, my, uh, in my good throwing clay. I rinse these off with the hose outside. You should not ever, do not ever wash your hands in the sink first off with, a, with pottery wheel clay, any kind of clay actually. Um, first rinse your hands in a bucket and then dump it outside. That's Stone run away. Uh, I did some pottery last night with. I don't want to use too much, but that's what it looks like here. Ah! Careful of stepping on that pedal. Okay, so I'm going to um, put it into a ball. See how it's not cracky? 
that's how it should be. It should be nice and just a proper moistness to coming right out of the bag. We have a little farm here, animals, and uh, well, chickens and rabbits and two doggies. It's a new water bucket. Okay, let's see if I can throw good quality clay into a pot on this. One other challenge is that um, I'm going to pull up my chair. Now my feet don't really reach the floor. Yeah, this clay is easier to use, certainly. I'm going to cut that off the wheel. The bad thing is you don't have separate bats, which are things that attach to the top of the wheel that you could then remove and um, let that dry a little before cutting it off. Otherwise, you have to stop and let this dry, uh, or dry some, at least until it's like leather hard. in order to cut it off the wheel to try it again. And I've got a group of kids coming who are going to test this out. And they're going to need to take it off the wheel. So the next kid can try. So I'm going to show you what that looks like when you take it off the wheel early. Okay, so now it's loose. And I'm just going to try and get it. That is stuck. Try that again. So I cut all the way through the bottom, and it, it doesn't want to lift up, see? That warps it a little, but I've taken it off the wheel. See what I've done there. Okay, and we can just let that dry a little bit. It's a little bit soggy, but we can take this piece and take a section from it. I just, I sharpened this little piece of wood in a pencil sharpener. <laughs> So, if I take this strip of wood, wood? This is not wood, this is clay. After you let this dry a little, you can add a little handle and make a little sweet, little sweet teacup. You have to really join clay well to get it to stay attached when it's firing, so give it a good smush. Normally I would do this when it's a little bit, when the clay's a little bit stiffer. And then we can clean up the edges and make it really, uh, see that's not, you want the, you want to look at it from all angles to make sure that you, when you look down on it, it's the, the handle is straight, not crooked. That's why. I'm taking the back of the paintbrush and I'm just smudging the clay together right where that join is so there's no seam line because that's exactly where it would crack if you see a seam. Could be a cute little tea set teacup. So all in all I'd say the clay that comes with it not good. Kind of a, a, grit, a slightly grittier stoneware Clay is better. They call it grog. They've added a little grog, which is a little bit of a, a bit of a sand-like substance that will help the clay or give uh, or give the clay a little form, not be so soggy. It will stand up better. It will um, hold its shape better while you're working with it. This can be, if you have this kind of clay and you know someone with a 
pottery studio or a, or a pottery kiln or you know you can find someone online with a kiln. Kilns are pretty expensive and they're they're not for kids but you could actually get this thing fired up and uh, you know make it a usable object. If there's no cracks inside you can seal it up with glaze that will be something a person could eat out of but not with the clay that comes with the kit. You cannot eat out of that. You can maybe sort some pencils in it or something if you made something larger or doodads, whatever you have, or put it on your shelf as a lovely art object. You can also, once you've got your piece drying, you can, you can shape it and carve some designs into it that could be fun. You would also, if you think about it, uh, it says to use a quarter of this each time you throw something. That means you would run out of clay after eight throwings. So you would need to find a new clay. So overall for $20, you can make some objects with it, but it's really a toy and it's not, it's the, you cannot keep the wheel level and you will not be able to throw perfect little pots with it. But it's a fun toy and for $20 you can't really go wrong with this item.